Imagine a region often overshadowed by its tumultuous history, now emerging as a global sports powerhouse. No, we're not talking about traditional sports giants like the US or Brazil. We're talking about the Balkans, a region that's quietly dominating the sports world in ways you wouldn't believe. But what if I told you that the secret to their staggering success isn't just about talent or resources, but something deeply ingrained in their culture, genetics, and national pride? Let's go over this untold story and discuss Discover what enables a certain geographical area in southeastern Europe to rewrite the rules of the game. The Balkans have a rich history of sports excellence, and the roots of this prowess can be traced back to the era of communism. During the time of Yugoslavia, the government saw sports as a powerful tool for nation building and international prestige. The communist regime thus invested heavily in sports infrastructure and training programs, aiming to prove their superiority over capitalist countries. In the former Yugoslavia, football grounds were more than just places for games, they were political arenas. Clubs like Velic Mostar and Železnichar Sarajevo rose to prominence and developed close ties with the senior party leadership. The government's focus on sports was not just limited to football. Team sports were promoted as a way of fostering community spirit and equality. This was especially true in basketball, where the Yugoslavian government began investing in the sport after World War II as part of its agenda. The socialist mindset of the Balkans at the time also played a significant role in shaping their sports culture. It cultivated a playing style that would later become known as positionless basketball in Serbia. Unlike in the United States, where players are trained to specialize based on their physical attributes, young athletes in Yugoslavia were trained using the same drills regardless of their height or individual strengths. This holistic approach to training made Yugoslavian players highly competitive on the international stage, winning numerous Olympic World Cup and Eurobasket medals between the 1960s and 1980s. A sport particularly important to mention here is basketball, which in the Balkans is not just a sport, it's a way of life. In Serbia, for instance, the president himself enrolled in a sports college to fulfill his lifelong dream of becoming a basketball coach. This level of commitment from the highest echelons of power highlights the importance of basketball in the region. The Balkans have also produced some of the most accomplished NBA players, such as Nikola Jokic, who is easily the most successful to come out of Serbia. However, his success is not an isolated event. He comes from a long line of great basketball players from former Yugoslavian countries, such as Croatian Drazen Petrovic or Slovenian Luka Doncic. This is a clear indication of the fact that the talent pool in the Balkans is second only to the United States, and this is not a recent phenomenon. However, the breakup of Yugoslavia brought its own set of challenges. The war resulted in sanctions against Yugoslavia, cutting its sports teams off from international competition. Despite these setbacks, the passion for sports didn't wane. People found solace in following Yugoslavian players who were playing abroad, especially in leagues like the NBA. The desire to continue the Yugoslav style of sports lived on, and new organizations like Megabasket in Serbia were set up to develop players' abilities for the long run. Now, while the Balkan sports prowess can be attributed to various factors, one cannot overlook the role of genetics. The region's unique geographical location at the crossroads of Europe has led to a diverse gene pool which has been suggested to contribute to the physical and athletic capabilities of the people in the Balkans, although specific studies focusing on Balkan athletes are limited. The broader scientific community has been increasingly looking at the role of genetics in determining athletic ability. Genes related to endurance, strength, and power are being studied, and the results are shocking. For instance, the ACTN3 gene, often referred to as the speed gene, has been found to give sprinters a boost by providing extra power. While it's not definitively proven that Balkan athletes possess a higher frequency of such advantageous genes, the region's athletes often display characteristics like agility, strength, and endurance, which are crucial for sports. In the Balkans, especially in countries like Croatia, the population is notably tall, providing a natural advantage in sports that benefit from height, such as basketball and tennis. Height is a trait that is significantly influenced by genetics, and when coupled with rigorous training, it can be a formidable advantage. This is the basic reason many Croatian tennis players have been able to leverage their height to deliver powerful serves, a critical aspect of the game, but this is not all there is to it. The genetic diversity in the Balkans is also about longevity. Athletes from this region tend to have longer careers compared 
to their counterparts from other parts of the world, which allows them to accumulate experience and skills over time, making them even more competitive as they age. However, this brings us to the last yet another crucial element that fuels the Balkan sports machine. The intense sense of nationalism and pride deeply ingrained in both athletes and fans. You see, the Balkans have a complex history marked by conflicts, divisions, and a strong sense of nationalism. This emotional backdrop plays a significant role in the sports culture of the region. A recent report highlighted how football hooliganism in the Western Balkans is closely linked to politics, nationalism, and organized crime, especially in countries like Serbia and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Young people join these ultra groups not just for the love of the sport, but because they see it as an opportunity to prove their loyalty to their nation and their community. Contrast this with the attitude of some NBA players in the United States who often decline to play for their national teams. In the Balkans, representing one's country is considered the pinnacle of an athlete's career. Take the example of Luka Modric, the Croatian football maestro. Modric, who has had an illustrious career with Real Madrid, still dons the Croatian jersey with immense pride. Modric plays for Croatia not for fame or money, but purely for the love of his country and yet he is 38 years old. This emotional fuel is not just about the athletes, but also about the fans who support them. The atmosphere in the stadiums, especially during international matches, is electrifying. Fans see their athletes as heroes who are not just competing in a sport, but are fighting for the honor of their nation. As we've explored the genetic advantages and the cultural influences that have shaped the Balkan country's sports prowess, let's now zoom in on specific nations that have been making waves in the international sports arena. Croatia, a country with a population of just under 4 million, has been a force to be reckoned with in various sports. In soccer, they've had remarkable achievements, including finishing as the runner-up in the 2018 World Cup and securing the third position in 2022. Croatian club Dinamo Zagreb has also been a breeding ground for talent, ranking as the third best football academy in the world. It has produced stars like Luka Modric, Mateo Kovacic, and Joško Gvardiol, among countless others. But this Croatian football club is not just successful on the field. Ranked 8th in the world in terms of profit from player transfers over the last decade, Dinamo Zagreb has earned a staggering 206.35 million euros from the sale of 309 players players. What's even more impressive is that they've achieved this while spending just 60.63 million euros, giving the club a profit of 145.72 million euros. But it's not just soccer where Croatia excels. In basketball, the legacy of Drazen Petrovic lives on with NBA players like Boyan Bogdanovic and Dario Saric. In tennis, Marin Cilic has been a Grand Slam winner. With a career-high ranking of third in the world, he has reached the semi-final stage or better at all four major tournaments, winning the US Open. While his win-loss record stands at an impressive 582, 328. Croatia's handball team has also been a dominant force, almost always in contention for medals, and even winning every single medal at the Olympics and World Championships. The only medal the Croatian handball team is missing is the European gold. If we were to name all the country's successes, the video would be 30 minutes long. Let's just say that they have been rather dominant in athletics, water polo, skiing, and many others. As we sail away from the Adriatic coast of Croatia, let's navigate towards the Danube to explore another Balkan country that has been equally impressive in the world of sports, Serbia. Their biggest sport representative has to be Novak Djokovic, an undisputed goat in the world of tennis that has 24 Grand Slams at the time of the recording, just two more than his biggest rival Rafael Nadal and four more than people's favorite Roger Federer. I say this because I know he isn't stopping, although being 36 years old, Serbia has been a powerhouse, particularly in basketball. The national team has had a series of successes, and players like Nikola Jokic, Bogdan Bogdanovic, and Boban Marjanovic have made their mark in the NBA. In volleyball, both the men's and women's teams have been dominant. The women's volleyball team in particular has received prestigious awards showcasing the depth of talent in the country. Serbia has also been a force in water polo, with the men's team often being in contention for international titles. But if we broaden our scope, we may find that even the tiny nations in the Balkan region are making a significant impact. 
Countries like Slovenia, Bosnia, and Montenegro may have smaller populations, but they too have been punching above their weight in sports. Slovenia's Luka Doncic has been a sensation in the NBA, and the country has also been a force in handball and soccer, despite having a population of just 2 million. Bosnia has produced great football players like Edin Dzeko, and has been hopeful for medals in the Winter Olympics. The Bosnian Olympic Committee has been supporting its athletes with significant funding, reflecting the country's commitment to sports. Montenegro, on the other hand, has been focusing on skiing, with athletes like Eldar Salahovic representing the country in slalom and giant slalom events. Even countries like Kosovo and Albania have been making their presence felt. Kosovo admitted to the International Olympic Committee only in 2014, and yet has been represented by skiers in the Winter Olympics. Albania, although represented by a single skier in the Winter Olympics, has been investing in sports infrastructure, especially in skiing, to develop the sport and boost tourism. So the next time you find yourself glued to the screen, witnessing yet another Balkan athlete defy the odds, remember you're not just watching a game, you're witnessing a chapter in an unfolding epic story that challenges us to rethink what we know about sports, talent, and the indomitable human spirit. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.